it's Jessica Matthews here. Um, today I am doing the 50 facts about me. Um, since I just started this channel and just started um, YouTubing, I thought that it would be a good way to get to know me. Um, I am sorry uh, for the way that I currently look. Um, I have not put a lot of effort uh, into myself today, but yeah, so just deal with it. Okay, so I have all of my facts listed on these pieces of paper, and let's just um, get started. So the first one was, I was conceived in France. My mom was in the military uh, when she got pregnant with me, and that's where I was conceived. I wasn't born there, unfortunately, which I think would have been really, really cool, but oh well, I was conceived there, so I think that's nifty. The second fact about me is I am very claustrophobic. That is my all-time biggest fear. I, I, I can't ride in elevators. I can't have, like, towel covering me. I can't have, like, the blankets over my head. Like, I can't sleep the blankets over my head. It freaks me out. Um, I am just very, 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 very claustrophobic. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, there's that too. The third fact about me is I live in Idaho, not Iowa or anything else. Idaho. I'm not going to tell you where in Idaho I live because that's giving out a little bit too much information, but I live in Idaho. So, yeah. Woot. Number four is my favorite book of all time. There's actually two um, that are my favorite. So it's a toss up between Alice in Wonderland and The Great Gatsby. Those are my two um, all time favorite books. Uh, number five is I am a huge, huge Star Wars nerd. And I want to just make something very, very, very clear. I was a Star Wars nerd before it was cool to be a Star Wars nerd. I I loved Star Wars when I was nine. Um, so I was a Star Wars nerd. I, I, I tell people when they're like, oh, you're a Star Wars nerd. That's original. And I'm like, no, you don't understand. Like, I was a Star Wars nerd before it was cool to like Star Wars. So I'm just throwing that out there. I win. Number six is I am completely obsessed with Disney. Disney movies are my vice. I absolutely love Disney movies. Um, I'm very good at um, memorizing movies, so I have a few of them memorized, and I am not ashamed. So I I love Disney movies, just all kinds. I think there's like two that I don't like, maybe three. But yeah, I love Disney movies, obviously. I love Disney movies. I have a Disney D on my arm. So there you go. That's my love of Disney movies. Um, number seven, I think, is where I'm at, is I have been I have been married for a year and six months to my wonderful husband. Um, yeah, so I'm, I'm married. Sorry. Yeah. Um, I am an only child. I have no siblings. I did grow up very, very, very close to my cousins. Um, we have more of a sibling relationship than we do a cousin relationship, but I am an only child, so I have no biological brothers and sisters. Go me. Uh, number nine, I have been to all but 15 states in the U.S. Fifteen. Bam. Um, my uncle was in the Navy um, throughout most of my life, and because I have more of a sibling bond with my cousins, um, I was able to go with my grandparents most of the time to go visit him. And the way that I cleared most of the states was because we took a, a round country um, trip to... Um, Georgia, and we went, it took five days to get to Georgia, and then five days back, so we did a cross-country trip um, to Georgia, and that's how I kind of uh, narrowed off most of those states, and I went on a D.C. trip my freshman year of high school, so that um, also narrowed down a lot of the states, too, so 
Yeah. Number 10 is I hate the color pink. Can't stand it. I don't, I guess I can't, I, I can't say that I can't stand it. It's just not my favorite color. I am not a girly girl. And I know that you're saying like my plugs are pink and stuff, but to a point, like I can stand a little bit of pink, but like if you walk into a room and it's like, it looks like you puked pink. Like I, I can't, I can't deal with it. I, I cannot deal with it. I can deal with pink, um, in strides. I don't like, I'm just not a pink person. I, I just, I don't like it. So I'm sorry. Yeah. Number 10, 11. Number, number 11. I am ambidextrous. For those of you who do not know what ambidextrous means, is I can write with both my right and my left hand. I also, um, I, I write mostly with my right hand, but like when I play sports and stuff, I am mostly a lefty. So I am ambidextrous. Um, number 12, I am a licensed esthetician. Uh, which means that I work in skincare. I do facials, waxing, makeup, um, artificial eyelashes, all that good stuff. So, uh, yeah, so I'm a licensed esthetician. And here in Idaho, I had to go to school for six months. I don't know the standards uh, for every other state, but here it was six months or 600 hours. So. Yeah. Number 13 is my all-time favorite movie, and I'm going to get so much crap for this, I just know it, is Titanic. I, ever since I was six years old, I have been in love with Titanic. It's by far, hands down, my all-time favorite movie, and I know that a lot of people are going to be like, oh my gosh, Titanic is so stupid, and then, yes, I know, but it's my all-time favorite movie, so... Again, I don't care. Um, number 13 is I have a tarantula. I think I just became an extremely freaky person. I do have a tarantula. Her name is Tamber. Um, she was actually originally one of my best friends, and I bought her from her. So I now have her, and she's amazing. And, yes, she has bit me quite a few times. Um but, you know, we're not even going to get into that. Number 14, you will never see me without a drink of some kind on me. I drink an obscene amount of liquid, mostly water. I, I love water. And I know that it's shocking to some people when I say that I would prefer water over, like, soda or juice or milk or things like that. But I love water. There's not a day that goes by where I do not have, like, a giant thing of water next to me. <laughs> so, um, except today, it's not in here. It's in the other room. So, but, yeah, I have water with me. <laughs> um, number 15, I think is what we're on. If I lose count, I'm sorry. Just follow me. There's 50, I promise. Number 15 is I love singing and I am good at it. I don't like to sing in front of people because I am very, very get stage fright, um, but I am very good at singing, and I love to do it. So, yeah, number 16 is I work at Massage Envy Spa as an esthetician. Yay! Okay, I think I've been giving out way too much information, I'm thinking. Oh, well, too late now. Please don't stalk me. That That's scary. Uh, number 17 is I want to be a famous makeup artist. I want to be like a makeup artist to the stars, basically, is a dream. I guess I should say how old I am. I just noticed that's not in there anywhere. I'm 23. I'm going to be 24, um, here in like a week. But yeah, I'm 23 right now. Um, number 17 is I have owned almost every kind of of animal. I have owned dogs, cats, rabbits, turtles, birds, chinchillas, fish, frogs, hamsters, guinea pigs. 
you name it, I've more than likely owned it. So, yeah, I love animals, and so does my mom. So we've owned a bunch of animals together. So, yeah. Number 19 is I have eight tattoos. And I will do a tattoos and piercings tag later. But um, just so you know, I have eight. Uh, number 19 is I have an anxiety disorder and depression. Anxiety disorder and depression. So, yeah, I will make a video about that later on, too, talking about my experience with anxiety. It's called generalized anxiety disorder. Um, I don't have, like, social anxiety or anything like that, but I have generalized anxiety disorder. And um, I also suffer with depression as well. So I will make a video later on about all of that. But, yeah. So there's that. Um, number 20, and I know it's super cliche, but I don't mean for it to be. It really, truly is true. I love fall. It's my all-time favorite season. And, again, I know it sounds very cliche, but I didn't do it to be cliche. Like, it's legitimately my favorite season. So, yeah. Number 21 is I love writing. I am I love writing, and I'm good at writing. So um, I don't really do a lot with writing. I just, like, keep journals and write notes and post on Facebook and all that good stuff. But I, I do love writing, and I am, I'm good at it. So uh, number 22 is I watch way too much YouTube, way too much YouTube. I could be on YouTube literally, like, six hours a day, and it won't even phase me. So, yeah, I watch way too much YouTube, but I'm okay with that. Drives my husband up the wall, though. Yeah. Number 23 is, and I'm going to get in trouble for this one, too. I hate summer. Hate it. If it could, like, never be summer, I would be a totally happy camper. I hate summer. I hate being hot. I hate being sweaty. I hate summer. I don't like the heat. I hate the heat. It's just, it's, it's not, it's not good. I like being warm, like when it's snowing outside or when it's winter and coming in and it's warm inside. I love that, but I hate summer. And here where I live, um, it usually gets about 110 um, in the summer, so it's it's bad. I no, I hate summer. Hate it, hate it, hate it, hate it, hate it, hate it, hate it. Unless I'm swimming, I hate summer. Just saying, don't like summer at all. So yeah, sorry to all you summer people. Uh, number 24, I believe, is I love The Dick Van Dyke Show. It is my all-time, hands-down, favorite show. I love The Dick Van Dyke Show. I love the innocence of it. I love the purity of it. I love everything there is to love about The Dick Van Dyke Show. So, yeah. Number 24 is I don't like hot coffee. Or really, like, I'm not a big hot drink fan. I like everything iced. I don't like hot coffee. Um, sometimes, every once in a while, I'll splurge and get, like, a, like a, a hot chocolate or a hot tea. But I don't like hot coffee. Even in the dead of winter, I will be the only freak of nature who has an iced latte or an iced mocha or an iced tea like I'm the only person who has them in the dead of winter but I don't like hot drinks I just I don't know it just for me it just takes away the sweetness and the goodness of it I don't I don't know I just I just don't like hot drinks I don't know why um <laughs> number 20 I am so off count here um, I am a very, 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 very picky eater. Yeah, I'm an extremely horrible picky eater. It's, it's bad. 
Like, it, it, it's bad. Uh, well, this says number 28, but I don't know if I'm on 28 or not. I don't know. I drive a beater car. Literally, my car is a beater. I drive a 1990 Mercedes-Benz. Same year I was born. Go me, me and my car are the same age. Um, my birthday and Christmas lists are always very organized, like they're color coordinated. It tells you like where you can get everything. Um, I have them all in categories, so like movies, books, gift cards, everything. So my, my birthday and Christmas lists are very organized. I get picked on all the time for it, but that's just the way that I do it. And hey, you know, it makes things easier. My favorite color is turquoise. I love turquoise. Love it, love it, love it, love it, love it, love it, love it. I hate. There is no exception to this. Like with the whole pink thing, there is no exception to this one. I hate the color red. It is just such a nasty, gross color to me. It's just not a nice color to me. I don't know why. It's just a bad color to me. I hate the color red. I, no, 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 no. I hate the color red. Um, I am more of a dog person than a cat person. I love cats, don't get me wrong, because I love animals, but I would definitely prefer dogs over cats. Yeah. Um, I can't have Android phones because they are too disorganized. So, like, like with my iPhone, the apps are all, like, in really nice order, like, you know, but with Androids, the apps can, like, go anywhere, and if they are not, like, strategically placed in, in a proper place, like, if they're not lined up, it drives me nuts. I can't, I can't deal with it. I can't deal with it. So, yeah, I, I, I stay away from Androids. I don't like them. That's one of the biggest reasons why I don't like Androids. Yeah. Yeah. Um, I hate taking baths. I do not enjoy baths at all. It, they're just dirty to me. Like, you're bathing in your own nastiness. Like, that's how I think of baths. Like, you're just, you're bathing in your own dirt and grime and ick. I don't like taking baths. I, I, I used to when I was little, like, I used to love taking baths, but... As I've gotten older, I hate taking baths. I can't do it. I hate him. Um, I can't use a towel if a person, if a different person has used, has used that towel and it hasn't been washed. I will not use the towel. If it is the only towel in the house, I will air dry myself. Like, if somebody else has used my towel and it's not washed, I can't use it. I I can't. It has to be washed before I use it. I can't even do it with my husband. Like, if he uses my towel for some reason and hangs it back up, I can't use it. I don't know why. It's a thing. I just, I can't, I can't use the towel that somebody else has used. I don't know why. It's just an OCD thing, I guess. But I've been like that since I was little. I don't know why. I don't know why. Um... Here's the interesting fact. Okay, I am very disorganized. I am an extremely disorganized person. I like my world to be organized, like like my workspace has to be organized, and like my phones and stuff have to be organized. But like me in general, I am a very disorganized person. Like I don't have a proper place for everything. I'm very messy. I don't keep bliss. I'm not an, an A, like, I don't know what I'm trying to say here. Like, I'm not a perfectionist. I'm not an A-type an A -type personality. I'm nowhere near it. I'm very, very disorganized. But because of my anxiety and depression, I have a little bit of OCD with certain things, like what I just said. But all in all, like, in general, I am a very disorganized person. So... Yeah, you don't believe me? Come into my house sometime. Like, it's not good. Um, I have to color code my M&Ms and my Skittles. I can't just eat Skittles or M&Ms and just toss them in my mouth. 
I have to like put browns with browns and blues with blues and yellows with yellows and greens with greens. And I, I can't just take Skittles and toss them in my mouth or M&Ms and thought they have to be color coded. That again kind of goes with my anxiety disorder, I guess, because with the OCD issues. But again, I'm a very disorganized person. So yeah, <laughs> um, I hate the feel of velvet. I can't, I, I hate the feel of velvet. I hate it. I, for, I don't know why, but it's just, it's just such like a gross feeling to me. I just, I can't stand the, the feel of velvet. I can't wear it. I can't touch it. I can't, I can't deal with the feel of it. It's not soft to me. It's not pretty to me. I hate the feel of velvet. Um, I am a Christian, uh, born again. Christian, I go to church, I read my Bible, uh, you want to hate me for it, you go for it, but I am a Christian, so if you don't like it, switch the channel and or just deal with it. I am a natural blonde. I'm not like a super like platinum blonde, but I'm more of like a dishwater blonde, so I'm like a darker blonde, but I am a natural blonde. Christmas music is my weakness. I love Christmas music. I start listening to it right after um, Thanksgiving and sometimes even a little bit before that. Not going to lie, I love myself some Christmas music. I hate Mexican food. Can't stand Mexican food. Like I said, I'm a very picky eater and pretty much everything that I hate to eat is in Mexican food. I don't like onions. I don't like peppers. I don't like spicy foods. Um, I don't like beans that much. I, I hate Mexican food. Love Italian. Hate Mexican. Don't, I don't like Mexican food. Every once in a while, I'll go to Taco Bell and like get a Nacho Bell Grande or things like that, but I'm not, I don't like Mexican food that much. Yeah. My all-time favorite store is Forever 21. Ooh, shocker, I know. I hate dresses. I am not ladylike at all, so I cannot have dresses on. I hate dresses. I, I think they're cute, and there are times that I wish that I liked them because I think they're very cute and very classy, but I I don't like dresses on me at all. So, yeah, um, I'm afraid of the dark. It is my second biggest fear is the dark. I don't like the dark at all. That would be my second biggest fear. Um, before I went to school to become an esthetician, I was in college and I was going to major in English. I love English. It's my all-time favorite subject. Um, grammar, spelling, reading, literature, everything. I love English. So that's what I was going to ma uh, major in. I speak Ubby Dubby. For those of you who don't know what Ubby Dubby is, if you ever watched Zoom, it is the secret language of Zoom. So um, I can speak OBW -E fluently. Um, it's really weird. It's like, how about I'm my name? It is Jabba Siddha Kaba. How about Abar Yabu? Yeah, I'm a nerd. Um, it's basically, I loved the show Zoom and I learned the OBW -E language. Yeah. Okay, I love horror movies. I love scary movies in general. Uh, horror movies are fabulous, fantastic, awesome. I'm not a chicken. I'm not afraid of anything. I'm a daredevil. I'm an adrenaline junkie, and so I love horror movies, <laughs> much to my family's dismay. But my husband will watch them with me, so we're good. I, but, yeah, I love horror movies. And the last but not least, I have a severe latex allergy to the point where my doctor wants me to get a medical alert bracelet for in case I'm like in a car wreck or I'm unconscious and I can't tell somebody that I'm allergic to latex because literally all it takes is somebody to touch me and my entire arm will break out. I've gotten staffed twice from wearing shoes that have a latex liner in it. So yeah, I'm extremely extremely allergic to latex. So yeah, those were my 50 random facts 
about me, and I hope you guys enjoyed it. I'm sorry that the video is kind of long, um, but a lot of these videos usually are. So those are my 50 random facts, and I am going to film another video probably within the next week. Um, I need to film a what's on my iPhone uh, video, and I also need to film a what's in my makeup bag and how I do my makeup for work. So, yeah, I will talk to you guys later. Bye.